Hello! I finally decided that I wasn't gonna make excuses anymore and I was just gonna make a mushroom tutorial so I wanted to be all like fancy and like mohawked and uh makeup and fucking wearing rave clothes and everything but fucking executive dysfunction got me again guys I'm sorry. So um here's a less pretty mushroom tutorial but finally the mushroom tutorial I've promised everyone. Anyway excuse the mess. Here are the things that you'll need. You will need um, a plastic yarn needle. Technically you can do it without this, but it's a pain in the ass. You will need at least two different colors of beads. I'm just going to show you with two colors um, because that's the easiest. You will need scissors and you will need string. I prefer to use cloth covered stretch cord. This is one millimeter. Um, you can also use 1.2 millimeter or I guess a little bit thicker, but that's about as thick as you want to go. Cut off a length of string that's about 40 inches long and using the color that you want the head of your mushroom to be, add three beads to this string. Tie the beads in a tight triangle and I like to use a triple knot. And then cut off this short end of the string. Now take your candy needle and run that string through the nearest bead to the right. And then you're gonna add three white beads in these spaces here. So you can see now it is sort of a larger triangle. You want to keep the string very tight the entire time that you're making the mushroom um, because the tightness of the string is what makes the mushroom hold its shape. So now run the string through that first white bead you added and you're going to add three green beads in between each white bead. When you finish off that last row of three, run your needle through the next three green beads, or I guess the first three that you added. So you want it to come out of this bead right here. Now you're going to add a green bead in these three spaces. And you want to come out of that first bead that you added, just like that. And now, see how you have kind of this 3D triangle shape. You've got one, two, three points, and then you've got one, two, whoop, three beads that stick up. So in between each of those beads, you're going to put a white bead. And once again, when you hit that last white bead, it's gonna go right here, um, you're gonna go through the green and then the white. Starting to see a pattern here, good. So we're adding our last bead and we go through the green and also through the white. 
to get to the next level. And you can see we're starting to get kind of a rounded shape here. So now in between each white bead, you're going to add three green beads. They're going to be little points. And remember to keep it pulled tight, that's what's going to make them pointy. That's also why I'm pinching the string. You can see here I'm pinching with this hand right here so that it stays tight while I add more beads. And once you do the last spike, you're going to go through the white bead and then through these first two green beads and you're going to come out the point. And now we're ready to do the next row. So now you're going to do three beads. You're going to go green, white, green, connecting the points of each little spike. So on that last uh, green, white, green, you're going to go through that green and then up through the next green and come out the white. And now once again, you're going to do green, white, green, and you're going to connect all the white beads. And once again, we're on that last spike, so we're going to go through the white and up through the green and out the white. Now we're going to do one more layer of three. It's going to do three green beads, and we're going to put three green beads in between each white bead.
Okay, so now last one through the white and up through the next two greens so it's coming out that point. Now we're going to connect each point with one green bead in between each point. So all the way around the circle, we're going to do one green bead connecting each of those middle beads. So now you can see it should look like that. You've got this nice little egg shape. You're going to run the string through this next bead. Keep it pulled tight. Now you're going to add one white bead. And you're going to run your string through this bead and the next two beads. and pull it tight. Now you're going to add one white bead and you're going to run it through one, two, three beads. And pull it tight. And one more time you're going to add one white bead and run it through one, two, three and four beads. One, two, three, pull it tight, and through that first white bead that you added, perfect. Now you're just going to add one white bead in between each of the white beads. and through that first white bead on this layer. Pull it tight. Perfect. So you should have this little triangle of white beads and an egg. So now we're into building the stem and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a white bead, run it through the next white bead, add a white bead, run it through the next white bead, add a white bead. We're basically adding beads alternating in a circle. Um, the stem is tricky. It took me a while to figure this one out and like really get it down, so don't worry. Remember to keep your string tight. So it's coming out of this bead. We want to put a white bead on there and put it in this next bead. And remember to keep it tight. Add a white bead in the next bead. So they start sitting on top of each other like that. And then add a white bead into the next bead and through that first bead that you added on this row. Once again, we're gonna put a white bead and you just do this in a circle. So you wanna repeat this One more time, see how now there's two and two, they're in like alternating rows. So you want it to be one column of two and one column of three. So we've got one more bead, one more row to put there. And up through the next level, just like we've been doing. 
Perfect, so now you've got a column of two and a column of three. So now, in order to make the stem look a little more mushroomy, we're going to add two beads in between, just like that, see? And remember, you're gonna go up through this next bead and also through those first two that you added. And now you're just gonna add one bead in between each of them. And remember to run your string through both beads, not just one of them. And up through that next level. Okay, now you're gonna do one more row of two. And on this one, you're gonna go through that one and also through that first two that you added. Now we're gonna add another row of one bead. Remember to go through both of them. And up through that first one. Okay, now we're on the last row. You're just gonna add one bead on top of this row of two. So one bead here, one bead here, and one bead here. Perfect. Now you're gonna run your string just through those three beads that you just added to pull them tight. You're not gonna add any more beads, you're just running your string through it. There we go. And then you're gonna tie it off. And I cut my string just slightly too short, so this is gonna be a pain in the ass, but I will try to show you. Okay, so when you tie it off, you're gonna tie it off by basically tying knots around this string right here that's going between these two beads. You're gonna just like that. And then, come here. You piece of shit. Come here. There we go. So you're going to grab that and just kind of boop, tuck it into that loop and pull. And then you're going to do that like three more times, um, which let's see if I can even do this on camera because it is truly a pain in the ass. I cut my string slightly too short. Don't make my mistakes, kids. There we go. Doesn't really matter which way you loop it. Um, you just want to get this little doop and through and pull. And I'm going to do this one more time for good measure. go and boom like that okay so now you've got your triple knot and you can just cut this long piece of string off close to the knot and now everybody's favorite part the crunch and that's how you make a candy mushroom Oh yeah, like, uh, like and subscribe because it will make Hubert happy and it will also make me happy.